Yo, yo, what's homies? Welcome to your new video. Today I'm going to show you how to convert from any given base A to any other base B using C language. For the sake of simplicity, let's keep the bases limited between 2 and 16. Now let's take a look at the principle behind the script. You see, we're going to be using uh, the decimal base as the as a middleman. So to showcase this, I'm going to be using my magnificent drone skits. You know what I'm saying, bro? So let's see, we have here base shit shit base two okay and this here is base four so to convert from base two to base four there is a method you know what i'm saying bro like it's easy you can just boom just that but if you follow this method you know what I'm saying? a direct method we basically need many many functions like that bro like 16 to the power of 16 you know what i'm saying bro like too much, too much work. Just a waste of time and resources. So I, I, you know, I think a little bit and I managed to find like a way I did use the decimal base as a middleman, you know what I'm saying? Base 10. So to convert from base 2, you must pass by base 10, you know what I'm saying, bro? And say goodbye to the diagonal. So you wanna convert from base 2, you convert that base 2 to the base 10. And that value you get from the base 10, you convert to base 4. That's basically it, you know what I'm saying, but like, simple as that. Now let's pull up to the C script. To achieve our goal, we will need like, three functions. So the first function is the value function. This function takes a character as input value. Checks if the character is one of the following, capital A to capital F. Then converts it to its corresponding energy. It uses ASCII table to calculate the values, you know what I'm saying, bro? Now, if we check the ASCII table, we find that A represents 65, B is 66, C is 67, and it goes like that, till F is 70. If we take a look at the value function, we will notice that it's just a simple if else statement, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because, and this is really useful. So, the character that value takes, uh, if it was uh, between 0 and 9, it won't do nothing, because 0 and 9, simple numbers, you know what I'm saying, bro? But if that character is like B or A or C or D, uh, we do return the following. So we convert that character into energy, which is the ASCII value. For example, if, if it's uh, C and C is 67, so 67 minus 65 is 2 and 2 plus 10 is 12. And C is 12 in hexadecimal. So that's how it works. Moving on to the next function, base decimal function takes the input of the user as a string and the base as an integer. For this function, we will need like four variables, power equals one, number equals zero, and i equals zero. And also we will need this, uh, the length of the string using the str length function from the string.h header file. Also, first and foremost, before we do anything, we, we need to check if the user input belongs to the base one. Basically, we're gonna need a simple for loop with a simple if statement. And if the number doesn't uh, correspond to the base, uh, let me like, uh, if it is a uh, base 4 and the number is like 19 or a 9 doesn't belong to the base 4. So it prints invite number value and runs the exit function. Now this is a simple example for converting from base 2 to base 10. The main takeaway from this is that we start from the right. You know what I'm saying? And, and the translation of this is this for loop. You start from the right. You know what I'm saying, but once you do that, you use i basically the length minus one because l is once again l is begin with zero, and this over here and this over here are these two lines. You see, this is the value function that transforms the a to f values. You know what I'm saying, then it turns the number. That's basically the function. Next up, we got the decimal to base function. Takes the output returned from base to decimal function as energy, and base two as energy returns string number as a string. Of course, once again, we use i as a variable, and here we have an example of converting, I believe, a decimal to binary. So here we have the quotient and the remainder. Now, like the main takeaway, once again, from from this example, is that the binary number uh, we like write the binary number from left to right, like from down below. So once again, the string is reversed, okay? And also, there is the a to f characters problem. So how do we convert that, you know what I'm saying, bro? Anyways, first let's uh, convert uh, these operations right, the division and the remainder into C, C code. So to do that, you use a for loop, of course, and you use the modulus 
to get uh, like or to fetch calculate the remainder and of course the division operator uh, you keep uh, running uh, the for loop until the quotient uh, equals zero also the string number uh, string stores uh, the remainders but in reverse order because the size limit of the string num string is not determined like that's why it's reverse because if, if it was uh, uh, determined we wouldn't really need to reverse the string so to fix the a to f problem we will use like a custom array containing all the characters a to f like this one is really smart i'm saying about like you use a for loop and you change the con uh, like the uh, the value of the str num but let me give you an example let's take for example g is 4 okay string num at position 4 is like 11 so this one becomes 11 okay now that 11 is uh, like is plugged into a digit count custom array so we go to 11th position, the 11th position, the 11th position here is B. Now the string num string at position 4 becomes B. That's basically it. Once again, I'm saying simple as that. Now next step after you, after you like uh, transform all those, all those string uh, values into their corresponding characters, now we need to reverse this thing. Now to reverse this thing, imagine this. Take a paper and draw multiple dots in a straight line and try to switch their positions. You will end up in the middle. That's why i stops at the length divided by 2. So this, uh, the principle of doing this is the same as uh, sw swapping uh, two variables. You know what I'm saying? But like the, it's basically the same. We create a temp variable and we store the first, the first value of the array in the temp variable. Then the first value of the array is uh, empty and we store the last uh, value of the array into the first uh, position of the array so, and then we return this thing now. now let's pull up to the main function we create two variables like two strings number and str num two integer variables for to store the bases base one base two this is a simple like command something i'm saying and then you store the output of the base decimal value like the returned value into temp into a long integer temp a variable and then you create another variable called temp with two p's and you copy the output of the decimal to base to the new newly created temp uh, string and you print the value like like the result anyways homies this is the end of the video i catch you in the next one and take care <laughs>